sorry, I screwed up when I wrote this. Mac, oh, Mac wasn't the, well, Apple technically was, but Mac OS was not the first personal computer. It was actually Apple I. Well, Apple One. Just taking a moment to come up. Um, oh, come on, load. Okay, I'll just leave in a minute. Nothing comes up. Like if something would happen. Give it a few more seconds. There. Um, so... Well, I know I've never used Mac OS, but I still don't know what, what it's like. Except for this part, I have no idea what the terminal looks like. But, um... I'm just... A lot of them are simple, which... Oh, oh my god. Ah! Stop it! Um... Can switch it. This is a background from Mac OS 8, and I know that airs from Windows 1.0. You got a wide variety of startup sounds. To Katie. I start, and it comes up with that sound after this one, which is from the original Macintoshes. So, and then you got your startup sound. Quick time, which I put that diamond image in. No, not, nothing. Um, I'll probably do a couple more after this. Um, this time, how about I show you... Uh, this is the one I was talking about, what DOS may have been like if there was a mouse pointer. It probably would have, well, PC DOS had a graphical interface, but this is what it'd be like if they were mice, but they hadn't had a graphical interface. She'll see what I mean. Um, it starts up. See, so you gotta click this and type in your command, which, yeah, I know, DOS is nothing like this. Um, I don't really know exactly what I program. Set mode to play. Yeah, just leave. There's not much in this one. Oh, I didn't even realize I had a list of commands there. It's been a while since I last made these. How about this time I do Windows 1? I feel like I'm the only one who actually made a simulation of Windows 1.0 on Scratch that's actually Windows 1.0 um... you got your right reverse you, which I don't know, I have no idea how, well I kind of figured out how to play it now, but I kind of put this joke into it so you know, I don't know much about reverse you not change directory to A, well, of course there's nothing inserted there RDNC and session, no Oh yeah, on session. Yeah. I tried to actually program a directory, which that didn't go the best. Oh wait, yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I did do that, but I think I ended up fixing it after I uploaded it. Just got your card file. Not much in this one either. Uh, I think I'll just do. Uh, well, yeah, I really want to show this one. This is seems to be the most popular. So, hundred have. Um, ah. this one probably will take a while to come up because it's also the most jam packed that I've ever made. Eighty eight assets. Um. So anyway, it decides to come up after this loads. It's 
startup screen looks kind of rough, I know that. It was kind of hard to make it look perfect. Um, but anyway. This is... Everybody... You know, uh, um, troll panel, which this was... I was talking about kind of jam pack. This one doesn't really do much. Um, got your mouse pointer. Navigate backgrounds. Go back. Oh, it's going slow. Set your password. Change it to dir. I don't remember if I programmed the log out. Cool. Um, alright. Here you got screen saver. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the last um I'm probably just gonna do one more after this. I'll do one more now. I'll swing back out. Um, how about this time I do? I just really want to do one more. New ecom station. Well, actually, there's just one more I want to do after this. I promise this one will be the last one. I really wanted to show Windows Longhorn. Oh, that one was fun to make. This one's pretty cool too. And it's not a parody of OS2 Warp. Ecom Station was OS was continued. Well, I don't know what company. I don't remember who continued it, but um, they bought it from they bought OS2 Warp from IBM continued it as Ecom Station, which is still being made today, it sounds like. Which this one I remember packed. I think this one a long time ago before we moved into this house. I think um, right after our realtor came and showed it to us when we came over another time, I had my laptop with me. Sorry about the sounds my laptop makes. It's an older Toshiba A105 sat satellite or satellite, I think is how it's pronounced. I'm guessing satellite. Um. Yeah, like I said here, I've never used the real ecom station, but I have used OS2 Warp, and I've used the built in version of Windows and which is kinda like Windows and OS2 work which is a lot like Microsoft OS2 these all launch executable files every version of OS2 work it's their logo for Ecom Station Whoa. Okay, how about I just skip right to Windows Longhorn? I don't know what's going on exactly right now. Um, let's see, Windows Longhorn. It took me a long time to make, though. I've been working on these simulations for a long time. Many people seem like that, and not everybody was too happy that I quit making them, but I still am making some cool operating systems like Scratch OS, Peace Linux, and Box OS. Mm. 
This one also got kind of popular. Which, um, you know, you got your, your next floor. This one's also pretty light. Got the shutdown. Start back up. The final slugger remix. So yeah, this one's pretty cool. A remix somebody made. You can still change your background to milestone five. Hey, yeah. My computer. Uh oh, that wasn't the smart thing to do. Oh man, I crashed it. Um, I don't really know what else to show, so I hope you like these simulations I've made. Go on and try them. Oh, come on. 